Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Minority Report, directed by Steven Spielberg and this movie stars Tom Cruise and I've never seen this movie before and it was just on Netflix so I decided to watch it and unfortunately I didn't enjoy this movie that much. When I finished watching it I thought it was fine. It was nothing special, nothing great, it was just fine. But the more I think about it the more I don't really like it and I like Tom Cruise in the movie and there's some interesting ideas in it. I like that concept of the movie where people are preventing crime by using these people who are, I guess, psychic or something. I have no idea who can like, who have dreams and they can dream of the future. And the dreams from what I understand are just murders that are going to happen, but they use that knowledge to prevent those murders from happening. And they arrest people even though they don't do anything. <laughs> like officially. They don't officially kill people. You are under arrest for almost committing a crime. It, it's most, I think it's just murder and that's it. And that's the concept of the movie. And uh, they try to explain it kind of. Like time travel, a paradox thing, whatever, in one scene, and that's it. <laughs> it's like, it doesn't really matter. But uh, they kind of explore it uh, to the point where it doesn't really make any sense, and although it's not really touched on all that much, it's still distracting for me. I thought the effects in the movie were cool and interesting, some of them at least. Like, there's these mechanical spiders that, like, scan your eyes, and there's this technology in this movie where they scan your eyes and they know instantly who you are. And th there's some inconsistencies with that. And it doesn't make any sense. Overall, this movie is kind of harmless. It doesn't do anything offensive. It's just fine. And, uh, and the main thing that bothered me about uh, the effects, or I guess design really, are the cars in this movie. I thought they looked really goofy looking. And the way they operate it, sometimes they can drive sideways or forward. It, it just, it doesn't make any sense if you try and think about it. But just watching the movie, I'm like, this is weird and I don't like it. I found the world kind of interesting, but uh, that's about uh, all I have to say in terms of positives for this movie. It's interesting. There's some uh, cool effects and some stupid effects. Tom Cruise is really good, but... That's about all it has going for it. I thought the story was the most predictable thing in the world, and the villain was kind of stupid. I didn't like the where they took uh, the villain character. I didn't like the look of the film. The movie it just looked like it was. It had this like really annoying glow to it, like Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. It just looks really unappealing to the eye, and it was very distracting, especially in the outside sequences in this movie. Whenever it was outside, that's when it was the most distracting. And when there was like light shining towards the camera, it looked so bad. I, I, I hated it. <laughs> that's all I can say about it. I just, I hated it. The action in this movie isn't exciting for me. And there's not one scene in this movie that stands out as really good or a lot of fun or anything. It doesn't impact me in any way. It's just average, which I don't really want. I want something that's better than average. It's just that I, I was offered nothing. I walked away with nothing. And that's what this movie is to me. Nothing. It's not the worst thing in the world. There's some good things about it, but it's just not something I'm going to remember ever. And I'm never going to watch this movie again. And with all that being said, I'm going to give Minority Report a 5 out of 10. Thank you for watching my videos. As always, if you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of Minority Report down below. And my social media links, they will all be in the description down below, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Bully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for... The Sandlot! Because <laughs> why not? <laughs> Anyways, until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day!